Hi everybody, thanks for checking out Brewout.com. Today I want to talk about beer and desserts. I know at first when I heard the idea of beer and desserts, I thought it sounded like a completely strange idea. And then I tried an Imperial Stout with some flourless chocolate cake, and I knew that it was really good. Now today is I'm going to try a dessert and beer uh, pairing that I've, I haven't tried yet before. I'm going to try some cheesecake with some uh, cherry lambic. It says, I guess it's Creek, I don't know, it kind of looks like it'd be the country way of saying it, saying Crick. Um, I don't know really what the correct way to say it is, but I'm going to try some cherry lambic with some cheesecake. And the, I guess the idea is it's kind of like you know how you can have uh, cheesecake with cherries or raspberries kind of on it, that you're going to get that from the lambic. Because I've read that a lot of lambics that you can buy in the United States is a little bit sweeter than what the traditional Belgian examples are. Well, I'm going to go ahead and open up this and try it out. Apparently there's a cork. I had no idea that lambics had corks in them. In case you learn something new every day. Always be prepared. It definitely smells a lot like cherries. I guess first I'm going to get a little bit of the cheesecake. definitely adds to the cheesecake. It, it's like the fruit of the, that you need with the cheesecake. I could eat this every night I and mean, it's awesome. Having the, you know, the sweetness of the cherries kind of tie in with the, the sweetness of the cheesecake. I highly recommend getting some Lambic. Um, as I've started Barrette.com, I've actually just now got into sours like the Lambics and the Berlin Weiss. And I can say it's a very good beer style. I may brew one in the future. Thanks for watching.